Hello and welcome to Forts. So I've been watching this game and I saw it was on a free weekend so it has another day so like as you're watching this will be the last day of the um, the free weekend. So definitely go check it out while it's free. Um, this is not sponsored, this, you know, I just saw it was free and I'm checking it out myself. So really what they're showing off is the multiplayer games let's see um let's join in a 4v4 and hopefully we don't make too big of fools of ourselves this might take a moment but basically Well then, um, okay, um, here, let's go play s like a skirmish, yeah, let's, how do I get that to go away? That didn't do it. Oh, X right there. Gotcha. Oh. I guess I don't get to play any of this. Can I play some of the campaign? Here, let's play it on easy just to make sure I understand what's going on. From the RTFM network. Sound this isn't too is bad. Fax News with Sal with the world's derricks falling silent, the global superpowers are on the hunt for undiscovered oil fields. Here, on the helicarrier ESS Extravagance, rapid deployment forts are being made ready to defend any new reserves found. Their portable reactor technology allows the forts to be upgraded in the field. With portable reactor technology, allows the forts to be upgraded in the field. With portable reactor technology, allows the forts to be upgraded in the field. With portable reactor technology, allows the forts to be upgraded in the field. Okay, that was weird. Such as high velocity cannons, plasma beams, and laser guided swarm missiles. These bases are capable of packing a hefty punch. However, black penguin oil geologists are rumored to have uncovered evidence of one last mother load of oil. If found, it could be enough to keep the Eagle Empire going for another decade. But with the Dragon Army and Iron Bear Alliance also coveting new resources, the race is on to be the first to claim the mother load. This is Salvo at the Eagle Empire Fort's basic training ground, reporting for Facts News. Well, that was exciting. On oh, no, a weapon, or press E. Okay, that's cool. Can I like click and get another one? No. Okay. Subscribe, and you'll help me upgrade my computer. <laughs> Eventually, it'll take a while. Computer part parts are expensive. All right, so welcome to your first fort recruit. As your drill instructor, I will be getting you up to speed with fort commanding. First things first, navigation. Uh, click to continue, there we go. Left button and drag, oh, okay. So you just have to drag it around, cool. Scrolly scroll, gotcha. Space to toggle the overview. Okay, gotcha. Add to the fort by clicking and grabbing, like right here. 
Ooh, try and make it as straight as possible. Okay. I will need to get faster at this. Oh, that. There we go. Alright, can I do? Nice. Great building style. By connecting to this fort, we now have complete control of it. Well done. Sweet. So, next, we have our machine gunner, which let's get him close to the edge so he has a good, like, firing line of sight. Now, left click the machine gun. So, what we want to do is hit right there. And then if we can shoot kind of a little bit high on this barrel, we might spray. Nice. So it only took two sets of shots. Hey, Sergeant Shock and Awe. My recruit was using those for target practice. Ah, uh, Sergeant Scattershot, leaving things lying around where they can get destroyed. As usual. Ha! Never mind, we've got a live target now. Recruit, take him out. Uh, well then, okay, so we want to build an armored section and then we can brace like that. And then I want to build some more up here here. Actually, let's go ahead and there we go. And then we go back over to weapons. Build him there. Now we can click oh, I shoot right about there. I guess that worked. I love that music. Hopefully it's not. Oh, that was just mean. This isn't over shock and awe. Nice. Alright, so now, destroy enemy fort, build 100% efficient turbine, and then defend against mortar attack. Okay. Let me introduce you to the reactor recruit. These bad boys power the fort and provide basic resources. Protect them at all costs. This is the reactor's health, this little temperature can bar. Uh, once damaged, it cannot be repaired. Reactor produces metal and energy used to build and run forts. Yep, so that's that thing right there. Gotcha. Now on these little space you can build these mines. That's where you get the, the metal from. So let's go ahead and add a second one as close as we can. Then we need to add a metal store. And let's keep it in the tradition, keep it on that second floor. Okay, wind turbines. So that's only 71 efficient. So let's. All right. Okay. Select a battery, then we get to store energy, or I guess more. Risky, it's close to the reactor, I guess. I guess if you do it like that, it's harder, I'm not sure. Or, or like if it, if it gets exploded, then like everything else gets exploded too. 
Uh, no, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Um, high metal supply allows you to build faster. Remember, wind turbines need height and exposure to reach 100%. So now we expand the fort upwards. Let's go up 50. Just because I, I like I like the round numbers. Don't hate me. 91, not quite. One more. Oh, oh. 50. It's probably a little higher, but whatever. 100%, perfect. Alright, now what we want to do... Looks like you've got it. R button? Proof that I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. Alright, now I can defend against what I can see. You never know when to quit, do you scatter shot? I, I really want to get through this, I oh. oh he did it again. Oh, but he's missing now. Oh, that one's going to hit, like, dead on. Okay, so I hit it. That was cool. Nice. That was cool. <laughs> Alright, managed to get a heavy mortar build it on the top of the fort, so like, yeah. Alright, now select the heavy mortar, and place some well-aimed shots. Oh, it actually shows me in this one. So let's put it right there. That's perfect. Haha. -ha. Didn't have to destroy the entire fort. Sorry, should have started you know, defending yourself. Nice. I think I'll do one more and then play the rest in like a second video. See, see what else I can get myself up to. We hereby claim this oil deposit in the name of the Dragon Army. You disgrace yourself with this aggression. Give me a break, buddy. We're gonna build a fort here and make you pay for it. Alright, so. Enemies are building a fort in our territory. It is armed with a mortar, so. They're building a sniper here to defend it. So. So we got them to defend. I have to dirt defend the Derek for mortar fire. Left alone machine guns will shoot at mortar fire mortars on their own. Here's a tip, aim for this damage strut. That one? To set off a chain reaction. Okay. Clearing the way to destroy this barrel and bring the whole fort down. Okay. So what we wanna do is use this one 
Oh, and I am a little bit up. I believe there's a little bit of a drop. Oh. Let's go a little bit lower this time. Oh. I am just leaving the... Um, the other gun alone to do its thing. There we go. Alright, so not quite the chain reaction we were hoping for. That's the one. Oh, I should have made the machine gun group. Darn. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, I kicked too much butt to need to do that. <laughs> But, you know. Um, how do we go back? I, I don't I don't like it. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you probably in the next oh, in the next episode. Got a little bit loud there on my end. Um, but tell me guys what you think about this. Uh, you know, if it gets a good response, I might get the game, you know, play it. It's There's a lot more to it, and I believe there's also mods already that add all sorts of different, um, like, abilities um, for, like, different commanders that do different things and different weapons. It, it's, it's super crazy. We'll have to see. Uh, but, again, tell me what you like. Uh, comment. Uh, like. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already uh, see more of a, my videos um, other than that I'll see you guys next time bye bye